Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with this 2020 2021 NFL playoff prediction update. That was a mouthful, you feel me? But um, we on to the divisional round for all the ones who didn't see our video. We posted an initial playoff prediction video for the wild card all the way up to the Super Bowl. If y'all haven't seen that, I'll drop a link up there. Be sure to go check it out. But uh, for the wild card, bruh. Um, now, literally, I think all of the picks I got were right except for two of the games, The which I think a majority of the uh, people who did playoff predictions actually messed up both of these games. You feel me? Um, the Rams and the Seahawks and the Steelers and the Browns. Steelers and the Browns, bruh, I don't know what the heck happened. Like, the Steelers did come back and go crazy. Well, not go crazy, but they did... For the actual final score, it seemed closer than the actual game was. You feel me? Um, I think the ending score was like 37 to 48 or something like that. But the Browns, I'm looking at a like, I turned it on, I think, at the end of the second. Like, it was like maybe three minutes left in the second quarter. I think it was 28 to damn zero. I'm like, my name, my name, what's going on, bro? Or it might have been midway through the uh, second quarter. But I'm like, bro, what the heck is y'all doing, Pittsburgh? 28-0, it ain't even halftime yet? Like, what going on, bro? You feel me? And then they started kind of getting back in it, but then it still was just too much. You feel me? Like, it's tough, coach. It's tough, you feel me? But either way, like I said, I picked Pittsburgh to beat Cleveland. Um, But, of course, since Cleveland won, now they're playing the Chiefs. The Seahawks, I don't know what the heck happened to them, bro. You feel me? Like, they lost to the damn Rams. So now the Rams are playing Green Bay, and we play, which for all the, I didn't even say this at the start of the video. For all the ones who might be new to the channel, I'm a Saints fan. So my Saints, of course, beat uh, Chicago. So now we're playing the Buccaneers in the divisional round. And we're going to be at home. That's a lot of people doing that talking like, oh, man, they ain't going to beat them three times in, like, one season and all that. Okay. Keep that same energy, bro. That's all. Keep the same energy. Because all the people hyping up Brady, I mean, rightfully so, it's Brady. You feel me? Y'all can count us out all y'all want to. All I know is we at the crib, which we haven't, past three seasons, we haven't played that good at a home, to be honest. You feel me? Like, we, we played okay in some of the years, but... Most of the years, I feel like we played better on the damn road than we did at home. But I'm expecting us to come out and still not overlook the Bucks. Like, I, f I feel like we're we not going to come out with that we already beat them twice this year type thing. You feel me? I feel like we're going to come out like, hey, it's Brady. It's the Buccaneers. We see they starting to get it rolling. All we need is that pressure on Brady for the whole game and, we get, and stop the run. Don't let them go crazy with the damn run because then – it's like, then damn near you can't get pressure on Brady because you're focusing on trying to stop the uh, run, and then they're going to bust out with an 80-yard play-action pass. But you, like, you feel me? So we got to maintain the damn run as far as defense and get pressure on Brady. I feel like those are our two main things that our offense is going to be. I feel like we're going to be good, bro. I did hear some people talking this morning. I think it was on uh, Undisputed. They had Michael Vick on there. And they were saying how Breeze still didn't look like he was comfortable and he was missing some targets. I'm like, I mean, maybe I seen a different game, you feel me? But I felt like Breeze was in the pocket looking good, you feel me? Like he was, feet was tapping, he was looking like, and he was getting it out of there, you feel me? Maybe that's just me though, bro. But either way, let me get this screen record going for y'all. Hold on, I might need to hit the light. But we still can't see it, that's tough. Ain't gotta do all this. Bro, can y'all see this? This rinky dink operation we got set up here. All right, there we go. There we go. Now, let me get y'all back right. All right, coach. We back in this thing. You feel me? Um, all right, so we got screen record going right here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it. I actually haven't even seen what what a days and a times people are playing. I just searched this, found this this uh, actual page on NFL.com, and I screenshot it. So um, Saturday, 
Got the Rams at the Packers at 435. I like how they doing one NFC and one AFC um, for Saturday and Sunday. But either way, Rams and the Packers at Lambeau Field at 435. Matter of fact, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to just call these these uh, times out. Then we're going to switch it over to the actual uh, playoff layout thing with the little brackets and all that so you got them at 435 then you got the ravens at the bills at 815 then you got the browns and the chiefs at 305 on sunday the bucks at new orleans at 640 all right coach <clears throat> i like how they got all of the teams who actually lost kind of black and gray or black and white whatever you want to call it but we're gonna start it off in the afc baltimore Baltimore versus the Bills. Uh, I don't know, Coach, because I was listening to Undisputed this morning, and they were saying that Baltimore is getting like 200 a game as far as rushing, bro. They damn near averaging 200, if, if, if not actually averaging 200, and they say that Buffalo can't stop the run. So if they can't stop that and you let Lamar Jackson go crazy – I mean, but I think I'm a, because the Bills did pretty good, but it was a close game against Indianapolis, you feel me? Even though Indy's defense is, is pretty good, I want to pick the Ravens. That's who I'm going to go with, bro. Because I want to say Buffalo, just because everybody's been talking about how Josh Allen and Buffalo has the best chance to beat Kansas City. But I'm going I'm to pick with my heart and go with the Ravens. I'm going to go with the Ravens for that. Um, the Browns versus the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs. I know that Cleveland came out and went crazy on uh, Pittsburgh, but Pittsburgh this season has been a little iffy. You feel me? I Like I said, I picked Pittsburgh to beat Cleveland, but I did pick them to lose in the next round after that which would be the divisional round. But I'm going to pick Kansas City. I feel like Cleveland's still going to come out and do their thing, but I don't know. Wouldn't it be wild, though, if, if Cleveland comes out and blows out Kansas City how they was manhandling Pittsburgh? That would be wild as hell, you feel me? But I'm going to go with Kansas City. NFC, Saints versus the Bucks. Y'all know I'm taking my Saints, bro. I know it's going to be a tough game because Brady is getting in his groove, but... My boy Breeze is right there with you, my boy. What you mean? <laughs> right there with you, my boy. So I'm taking the Saints for that. Um, I feel like we'll beat them by maybe like somewhere between 6 and 10 as far as how much we're going to beat them by. The Rams and Green Bay, I got Green Bay. They got Lambeau Field too. The LA Rams are used to playing in – Sunny California, my day. Like, I don't see them being able to go up there in freezing cold weather. But that's the whole thing is what's the actual weather going to be, though? Is it going to be snowing? Is it just going to be cold? Like, if it's just going to be cold, they might be able to come out there and go crazy. But they offense, Green Bay's defense, I'm not sure exactly how good they've been this whole year. But either way, in my heart, I'm picking Green Bay for that one. Meaning for the divisional or for the uh, AFC championship, you got... Baltimore versus Kansas City. And for the NFC, you got the Saints versus the Packers. AFC, Baltimore versus Kansas City. I got Kansas City in that. No question. You feel me? I feel like Baltimore can still come out and give Kansas City a run for their money. But I'm going to go with Kansas City. And then... The Saints versus the Packers. We already talked about this in the initial video we did. Like I said, I understand we going to Lambeau because somebody was like, bro, I'm a Packers fan, and basically y'all manhandled us at our home, so how do I expect us to go to Lambeau, give y'all the advantage, and still expect us to come out on top? Nigga, because I do. What do you mean, my boy? Like, <laughs> I understand y'all at home. You acting like y'all ain't never got beat at home before. Like, it's happened, right? What do you mean? Saints versus the Packers, I know we used to play in warm weather down in New Orleans. So if it's snowing or just extremely cold, that's going to be tough for us. Like I said, we need them heated jackets. Mother, give me a heated blanket, heated cleats, heated socks. 
gloves, my nigga, any, anything that can be heated, give it to me, my nigga. That's all I'm going to say. Saints versus Packers, I'm taking my Saints in a close one. A close one. You feel me? I feel like that might be like a three-point game or something like that. Um. So that, so that would mean it's going to be Kansas City and the Saints in the Super Bowl. Now, I talked about this in the initial video. But y'all know who I'm taking. My Saints. You feel me? I'm taking my Saints, my boy. We went... We, we, we played them in week, I think it was like week 13 or 14, something like that. That was the first game Drew Brees came back. We were at home and we lost by three, if I'm not mistaken. Can't hold that and say, oh, well, we lost by three. Drew Brees was just coming back. We didn't have Michael Thomas that game. Alvin Kamara might have even been out for that game, but I think it was just Michael Thomas and uh, Emmanuel Sanders. So, I mean, you can't just say, oh, well, we'll add these two, so now we'll beat you by 14, but... I think it's still going to be a close one for the Super Bowl. And like I said, Pat Mahomes and them, bro, it's like every time they have a close game, they know what to do with it. So we just need to make sure we up by enough. I mean, really, we just need to come out and play our game. You feel me? Defense need to lock up. Like, lock up, my nigga. Like, you feel me? This is for the Super Bowl. We got to come out there ready to go stupid. And we know even if our defense locks up, Mahomes can still make something happen. So our offense is going to have to be... You know what I'm saying? Matching them tick for tack whole game. But I'm taking my Saints in that one, bro. Taking my Saints in that one for the Super Bowl champs. You feel me? Hey, man. That's my updated divisional round playoff prediction. Like I told y'all, I'm updating this every week. Now, next week is, is Monday today that I'm posting this. So the day after the Sunday games. But next week, I'm going to try and post this right after my reaction to the Saints game. You feel me? So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, I'll be I'll be updating it every week as each week goes on. So even even if my Saints did lose, I'm still gonna update it next week going into the AFC and NFC championship. And then I'll do the same thing the week after that for the Super Bowl prediction. Um, but for me, like I said, the Ravens, Chiefs, Saints, Packers, and I got the Saints versus Kansas City in the Super Bowl. That's just me, coach. That's just me, you feel me? I think that's a 99%er, though, if you ask me. 99%er, my boy. Y'all get down there in the comments, though. Let me know what y'all think about uh, my divisional round on to the Super Bowl predictions. Let me know who y'all got going to the Super Bowl after this wild card weekend, because it was kind of wild. Seahawks, I did not expect them to damn lose. And the Steelers, I didn't expect them to lose how they lost. Like, even if they lost a close game, I didn't expect them to lose how they lost. But it is what it is, bro. Um, y'all get down there. Let me know who y'all team is, who y'all rocking with, and who y'all got going on to the AFC, NFC Championship, and on to the Super Bowl. Like I said, y'all stay tuned next week for the Saints versus the Packers reaction, as well as, and we got the last game on Sunday, man, and I'll be able to do that playoff update literally right after the Saints game so y'all stay tuned for that ain't really got too much else to say though bro we on the road to 15k subscribers 18 i appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far let's keep it going keep it growing and like I always say y'all keep coming back tuning in i'm gonna keep these videos rolling out we gonna keep getting that lit over here catch y'all on the next video I got a box. it came with a box i need a box to sit to the spot you're trapping this froze and i'm getting hot I'm having all the O's looking like N-I-E.